a stock's beta is its sensitivity to the volatility from the market. Beta value of 1 means the stock price correlates with the market. Beta of minus 1 means the stock price moves the opposite way than the movement of the market, meaning it has very low sensitivity to the systematic risk. Beta over 1 means it has high sensitivity to the systematic risk. The formula for beta is covariance between a stock and the market divided by the variance of the market. Basically, it is the correlation between a stock and the market multiplied by standard deviation of the stock in relation to the market's standard deviation. Correlation between a stock or a company and the market varies depends on which market you are using as reference and how diversified this market is. Standard deviation of a stock or a company in relation to the market standard deviation varies depends on the market and how diversified it is, in addition to how the company is structured, like the cost structure and the debt level. Let's calculate beta in the spreadsheet. We will use the formula where we take the covariance and divide by the variance. We have already gone through how covariance is calculated and how to use the spreadsheet to calculate it. So you take the covariance between the S&P 500 and Apple divided by the variance of the S&P 500. This gives Apple's beta to be 0 0.919. You can also use the Excel formula slope to calculate beta. Slope. Take the returns of Apple and the return of the S&P 500. This gives value of 0 0.919 same value as we calculated earlier. Now that we know Apple's beta, we can calculate the unsystematic risk of Apple using this formula. The unsystematic risk is the difference between an asset's standard duration and an asset's systematic risk. The systematic risk is calculated by multiplying the assets beta with the standard deviation of the market. So Apple's beta multiplied by standard deviation of the S&P 500. This gives the systematic risk of Apple to be 14%. And the unsystematic risk is just the difference between Apple's total risk of 31% minus the systematic risk. This gives the unsystematic risk of 17%.